Hi guys, welcome to part three, third and final part. We've actually got it finished. So, at the end of the last one, I'd welded these on, so I'm just going to clean them up now with the uh, good old die grinder. Put a parallel one in, um, and it's a little bit tougher because it's sort of mixed the mild steel with the stainless steel, and it's it's actually made it a little bit tough, but it's still taking it off. It's doing a lovely job. I've only just discovered these die grinders. I wish I'd had one years ago. I spent 30 years with a file. Um, and these things are just so much easier. The lovely sort of job they it does in no time whatsoever. The price of these um, burrs I, I tend to use garrison burrs because I think they're a, a really good make um, and they last quite a long while but for the price of them, for what they do oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant look at that, that's taken me how many seconds has that taken to do that I've just got a couple more bits to do turn it over Alright, so I've done that. I'm going to bore you with it. And I've pushed the bearing in. And it's gone in nicely. Um, just had to tap it in with a copper mallet. So hopefully now once that's mounted, that should spin a treat. So we're going to get on and do the second one. Alright, I've cleaned it all up with the burr. I'm just going to tap in this bearing. It's a reasonably tight fit but I don't want it coming out anywhere or slipping. So there you go, nice and flat, flush, done. So the next job, which I've already done, is turned up the axle. It's a bit of 30mm round, ah, 20mm round, beg your pardon and I've turned down each end as you can see to accept the inner of the bearing and I've also drilled and tapped the ends to accept a 6mm bolt which I'm going to stick in the end there the washer on and that will stop stop it dropping off now this bit of tube I'm going to weld on the middle of here this is what it's going to run on um, what it will make it spin sort of left and right, follow the wind, hopefully. So I'm going to go away and weld that on and show you when it's done. Right, so I've welded that on. It's not pretty, but it's got it. It ain't coming off. And that should do the job. Now what I'm going to run it on is this bit of 20mm round, which is the same as the axle itself. The tube just slides over, it's a reasonably loose fit, and as you can see it, it turns quite freely, but not quite freely enough, so I'm going to use a ball bearing, just stuck up inside, and when I put it together properly I'll have a little bit of grease in there, and you can see that, what a difference that makes, it's really spinning now. So, I'm going to just put a little drop of paint on the top here because the top's mild still, although the tube is actually galvanised, so I'm just going to put a drop of paint on the top and stick it all together. Right, we've put it all together. See so a drop of grey paint on the top there. Put them on. 6mm nut and a, uh, bolt and a washer. And hopefully that's the sort of effect. It's. Uh, Going to need a fair bit of wind, I think. Um, I, should, I don't think I should have got sealed bearings. But anyway, we're going to take it home, stick it in the garden, and hope for the best. Right, I've stuck it in the garden, and unfortunately I think I put a bit too much grease up the pole, because it sort of stuck it up, it's gummed it up a bit, rather than lubricated it. So I'm going to have to take a little bit out, I think, but that'll be tomorrow, it's getting dark now. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.